Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you for joining me again for another predictions video. This time I'm trying to predict some of the championship positions. I'm not going to go through each position in the league table. First of all, because I think it's boring to do. Second of all, the championship is such a difficult league to predict that anybody more or less could finish anywhere. We saw last year with Huddersfield going from the bottom third of the league to getting promoted through the players. But what I'm going to try and do is do the top six, the bottom three, give you a dark horse and give you a flop as well of the season. Right, so to start off at the bottom of the table, Burton Albion are really going to struggle this season. They overachieved last season. They finished quite clear of the relegation places in the end, but I think that it's going to be a stretch too far for them to stay up again this season. Now, that's a shame because I do like Nigel Clough. I like the football club, and I look forward to going there this season as well. In 23rd place to the second relegation place, I've given to Ipswich Town. A team who've struggled financially over the last couple of years. The fans are getting a little bit grumpy with Mick McCarthy as well. And his style of play is not particularly attractive. But I think that without him, they would have been relegated sooner. I think that the fans are going to keep getting on his back and possibly push him out. Mick McCarthy as well this season has been moaning about the money that's been spent in the Championship. Particularly Wolves. But... When he was trusted with money at Wolves, he bought Roger Johnson and Jamie O'Hara, and we all know what happened next. The final relegation spot was a very tricky one to choose. It could have been one of a number of teams, Bristol, Nottingham Forest, Millwall, all going to be struggling down there, I think. But in the end, I've gone for Bolton Wanderers. I think the lack of finances and the young squad that they've got is going to be very, very tough on them. And it pains me because I do like, again, another team that I like, Bolton, but I think it's going to be tough season for them. They could well stay up, but I think it's going to be really, really tough for them. And now for the top six. In sixth place, I've gone for the team that the bookmakers have got favourites to win the league. And I think it's just due to the size of the club and the number of bets that have been put on them. But I think Aston Villa are going to have a much better season than last season, but not good enough to be automatically promoted. I can see them being stable under Steve Bruce, who has in the past got teams out of the championship, but is also struggled with good teams and the expectation. If you look at Hull a couple of seasons ago, they should have really been promoted automatically. The fans as well have been talking about the style of play that they've been playing over pre-season and have not been particularly enthusiastic about it. But Steve Bruce has got that reputation of being effective and being able to just create results. So that could be something that works in Villa's favour. In fifth place, I've gone for Norwich City. They've had somewhat of a revolution over the past year with the Moxie situation coming and going. They've now got Stuart Webber, who is head of recruitment, and David Farker, who was at Dortmund with Jurgen Klopp. Got some exciting talent, but I don't think they're going to have a really good season and push for promotion. But I do think they're going to be scratching away at the door of the playoffs, and I think they are going to get into the playoffs come the end of the season. Now, in fourth place, I've gone for my own team, Wolverhampton Wanderers. I think we're going to have a good season this season in comparison to the past two seasons that we've had. We've had a massive overhaul of the first team squad. We've brought 11 first team players in. We've trimmed the squad as well. We've got rid of some fringe players and players who are not quite up to the standard of the championship. And I think we are going to have a good season. Personally, I think we could do better than fourth, but I also think that knowing the Wolves fans the way that I do, we're very temperamental, very quick to get on the back of managers and players as well and with the fees that we've been spending we've got to be patient and I think come Christmas time I think we're going to start building momentum and getting into those playoff places I hope at least. Third place I've gone for Leeds United I think last season they had such a good season and fell short because of lack of depth in the squad and a lack of managerial quality I think Gary Monk really sold them short near the end of the season particularly the game against Wolves, they didn't have a plan B. They was just lumping it up towards Chris Wood and when Stearman and Williamson were dealing with it, they didn't have any other way of getting the ball forward. If they can find a plan B, I really think they're going to have a great season and can possibly even challenge those automatic spaces. The fan base that they've got there and everything else is set up for the Premier League and possibly this could be the year for them. In second place, in the first automatic promotion spot, I've gone for a massive club, Sheffield Wednesday. Massive fan base, great squad, good consistent backroom staff over the last couple of years as well. I think that all adds up to a good season this year. They've been very, very unlucky, I think, over the last two years in the playoffs. But this year, I think, is going to be their year. If they can continue the momentum that they've had and not be too disheartened by the two playoff defeats, they're going to have a great season, I think. And in first place, I've gone for a team relegated from the Premier League last year. And it doesn't happen very often, teams going down and then back up straight away. 
But I do think that Middlesbrough are going to have a good season this year and I do think that they're probably the overwhelming favourites to get promoted in some way. They had one of the best defensive records in the bottom half of the Premier League last year but just couldn't score any goals. So they've added some good players to complement that. They've brought in Britta Sambalonga for £15 million and Ashley Fletcher as well. So they are going to be a strong team. If they can keep hold of Ben Gibson until the end of the transfer window as well, I think they're certainly set up to have a great season. Now, my flop of the season. I think momentum is key in football. Positive momentum and negative momentum. We've seen teams get promoted when they shouldn't have just because of being on great runs of form. We've seen teams being relegated because they just can't buy a win. Now, Sunderland have been on a terrible run for the last three or four years. They've managed to scrape up and stay up in the Premier League for a couple of seasons. But now they've been relegated. If they don't hit the ground running, which I don't think they will, they are really going to struggle because the championship is unforgiving. If you lose a couple of games, teams can surpass you. You can get dragged into trouble very, very quickly. Not only on the pitch are they struggle losing uh, Pickford and Defoe, there are also now stories of them falling out off the pitch with Darren Gibson calling out a number of players saying that they are not committed to the club. Now, when the dressing room starts to go like that, we've seen so many times in the past that that is toxic. And my dark horses, again, thinking about momentum and thinking about positive momentum this time, it's going to be somebody coming up from League One. And I think Sheffield United are going to have a great season. They blew away League One last year, having been down there for a number of years. But they've come up really positively. They've signed a couple of experienced players as well from the Championship. And I think they're going to be able to build on last season and create a squad that's going to be able to push I don't think they're going to quite make the playoffs, but it wouldn't surprise me if they finished in the top 10. Let me know what you think about my predictions down below. Make your own predictions as well. Who do you think is going to struggle? Who do you think is going to do well? And can you let me know as well your, who do you think is going to be the best player in the championship next season? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop it a like. Lots of dislikes on my video yesterday in comparison to normal videos. A couple of Bournemouth fans must have been watching and disagreed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.